Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like this person is being stopped from coming towards you because they're just, they're, they're wanting to apologize. They know they missed their chance with an empress here. You collective are an empress energy, making boss moves. This is boss energy, all right? Um, very abundant, very stable. You're every queen in the deck. Um, but you had to go through hell to get here, you know? Uh, you had to learn all of your lessons. You had to learn all of the um, aspects of every queen. And um, now you're living a comfortable life. You know, you've made it to the Empress throne. You're very abundant, very independent, high vibing, happy, comfortable, and attracting new things to you, okay? Um, and this person from your past, they want to apologize. See, they had a chance at love, and they sniveled at it. I feel like this person didn't know your worth. They just didn't know, okay? Um, I feel like the divine is trying to tell them here, this is an empress that you're dealing with, pal. This person requires respect, consideration. Um, you know, they need to uh, treat you the right way. But I feel like they're kind of... It's almost like they're coming to you as a page of wands, wanting to flirt, um, in and out energy, okay? Not serious, right? And the divine is like, look, you know, we're trying to give you love, real love here. This is a blessing, you know? Um, you, can, you can either respect and treat this empress the right way or don't come at all. That's what, this, that's what the divine is saying. I feel like... They want to come and apologize to you. They, I, I feel like they know what they're missing out on. They want you back. But this is kind of like a fake apology. It's, you know, it's not, it's not a full apology. Like, I feel like they don't really mean it. Because you know what? They're about to come forward in this page. They're coming to you as a page to an empress. And the divine is like, now wait. If you're still in page energy and you're still pouting because you have to show someone respect um, and all you want to do is flirt and talk and take all this action, but knowing that um, you're, you're really not serious about this person, don't come at all. You haven't learned, okay? The empress requires an emperor. The empress needs somebody who's going to be serious. Somebody who is going to be able to stand on their own two feet. You need a grown person who can take care of themselves because the empress is a busy, busy person. You've got a lot going on. You've got a business. You could have a home, family, errands, everything, okay? Everything to, to run kind of on your own. And you're doing it great, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting on this throne. You're holding it down, collective, okay? You're holding it all down. And the last thing, the divine knows, the last thing an empress needs is a little page coming in that they have to, you know, watch over and take care of and play little games with. No, no, you need an emperor. And until this person does their spiritual work, until they can learn how to respect you and truly treat you the right way, they, they can't come in. The, the divine doesn't want a page around you um, confusing you, um, coming in and out of your life, playing games with you? No. I feel like they're not allowed to come back in yet. They haven't learned their lessons. Okay, so yeah, they're, and if they don't, if they continue to try to play with your head and play games with you, giving you fake apologies, not treating you with respect, just running around doing whatever they want, thinking it's funny, doing, you know, thinking there's got not going to be any consequences, I'm telling you, the divine is about to bring down this person's tower. Like, they will level things out. If they don't start their work on themselves so they can boss up into an emperor or at least a king. At least a king. This person is so immature. Like, very immature. Okay? The divine's not letting them near you, and they're going to be given. They're going to start getting tower after tower after tower here. They will... 
be leveling this person's life. Because see, this person, they're known for ghosting other people. They're known for like picking up a cup, taking a sip, putting it down and walking away without saying a word. And they think that they can do that. They think they can get away with it. They don't mind playing games, okay? And they definitely don't want to do any spiritual work. They don't want to heal. They don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to, they don't want to respect other people. They're having too much fun off the backs of everybody else, okay? Just walking on people. That, like, they have to step on people to, do, to have this kind of fun. And this is something that they do all the time, right? Yeah, they, they're out here picking up other people. Okay, yeah, this is all the truth. They're out here picking up other people now. You know what? Um, the divine is like, no, this empress deserves an emperor. She requires somebody like an emperor. Okay, that's going to commit to her and build with her and be there strong for her. And somebody who... She doesn't have to babysit. This would be a page coming to an empress, guys, is like a little kid coming to um, an elder, right? You know, let's play some games. You know what I mean? Um, no, no. The empress requires an emperor, period. And I feel like this person, that this person can't come towards you. The divine is stopping them here. They're making them look at themselves. They're making them try to do their work, start their work. And if they don't, they're bringing down the tower. They're, yeah, work. They need to start doing their work. They need to, there's a lot of lessons. They may have just learned one. There's a lot more for them to learn. A lot of times, pentacles for me, and I may be the only reader out here who does this, I admit, um, pentacles for me stand for lessons learned. Each one is like a little star sticker that you get. And this person has a lot more work to do on themselves before they come towards you. They've got a lot more lessons to learn before they come towards an empress. The divine does not want a little page who's not serious starting something with you and getting you all off your game. Okay? No. The answer is no. And look, everybody had time to work on themselves, right? They had, they had time to choose a path. They did. I feel like this, this person was warned, right? I'm seeing the world as like the world card. Look, this person was warned. You choose a different path, right? Come towards spirit and start doing the work on yourself, the inner work on yourself. Okay, so that because I'm t time will be running out. There's an end to this cycle. I feel like this person was warned, but they just kept doing whatever they wanted to do, making um, love bombing people, having in and out energy, and this is it. They were just like, yeah, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Ooh, you know what I mean? That's what this is. In this reading, juggling others. This could be juggling. This is love bombing, empty promises, in and out energy, lies, thinking they would get away with it all. You know, laughing while they did it. I feel like they just, they kept doing it. I can do whatever I want. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's always the, you know, whatever, whatever I want to do. Yeah, that's the feeling I get off of this two of pentacles, like, almost all the time, guys, all the time. Um, so, yeah, and now they want to reunite. Now they're looking to reunite. That wanted to fly out in reverse, and the divine's like, no, 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 okay? Because you know what? I feel like um, this person is still a player. They're still a player, I feel like with this page of swords out here, I'm kind of getting the sense that the divine is saying we have observed this person to still be a player. Okay? They could have another person in their inner circle watching them be a player. Like this person could actually be sneaking around. They could have a home situation with somebody else. 
and that person is watching them sneak around and be a player. They just there's too many people involved, too many um, empty promises, uh, fake apologies, too much playing around, too many lies, thinking that they'll have uh, they'll get away with everything, having in and out energy. Lying to other people, love bombing, you know what? And I feel like that's kind of whoever they're currently with, that's what they do to this person too. They love bomb them, they tell them lies to sneak out and go be a player. This person loves their lifestyle. They don't know what love is yet. And maybe that's why they didn't see the value in your cup of love. They didn't, they don't even know what it is. I feel like this person has no interest in settling down, changing their lifestyle. They, they love getting away with it. They, that, they love that part, okay? Um, I feel like that's what they're in love with is a player lifestyle. This person doesn't know love. They don't know it. And I feel like, you know, this... Um, this is a decision when it comes to love. Uh, I don't think this person can make a firm decision on love because they don't know they don't know what it's all about, and I don't think they want love. They just want to play games. They want to play games with people. They want people chasing after them, watching them, jealous over them. They want to be able to have in and out energy. This person is just a textbook player. I'm telling you, okay. And you're, I feel, a divine being here. I feel like you, maybe this is a karmic individual, and I feel like you may be, um, you may be introduced soon to a twin flame, a true twin flame, okay? A true divine masculine, divine feminine, because you deserve an emperor. Yeah, this, but this other person, I'm telling you, they just do whatever they want, willy-nilly, taking big risks, taking, um, uh, you know, gambling with their future, right? Um, being reckless. They're not listening to, and I feel like they're getting the warnings. They've been getting the warnings, but they have, they're like, ah, oh, no, I'll do whatever I want, right? I'm going to do whatever I want anyway. I'm telling you, this person is, they're a fool. They're just a fool. And I feel like you're already seeing that. Sitting in Empress in the Empress energy here, I feel like you kind of have a bird's eye view of this person now. Everything is coming together here. Um, for you, you've gotten clarity on this person, and I feel like that this is where the decision comes in. You're making a decision that you want to build something solid with someone. You want somebody who's going to be committing to you. Okay? Yes, and I feel like um, the divine won't let this person near you anymore. They're bringing you, if you haven't already gotten your clarity on this person, and you still wonder what's going on with them, the divine will show you, okay? Yeah, look, they're, they're going to find themselves in a toxic situation and a lot of regret, okay? And I feel like they're going to be very regretful because you do have somebody coming towards you here. You do have some, and I feel like this is your next, the next person that you get with. It's going to lead to a commitment here. Queen of Cups energy, and you deserve it for all the love you give, for learning your spiritual lessons. You're a very spiritual person here. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, Virgo. Yeah, look, you've passed your test. You've moved on, collective. You've passed, look, all of these pentacles, that's all the lessons you have learned. Okay? Each one is a star. You learn the lessons from the last cycle. You pass your test. You get to move to the next grade, the next level up. And you have leveled up so far. That now you're literally, you're, you're single now, but you won't be for long. You've got someone coming into the picture that's going to give you that commitment, help you build generational wealth, okay? And I feel like um, this is somebody that you're going to slowly get to know. It may start, start off as a friendship first, you know. 
um, and it'll build into this. But yeah, you've learned your lessons here. You're ready to move on. You're, you've graduated. This is a graduation card from all of the grade levels that you passed, okay? You get to graduate now and move forward into something bigger and better, okay? I feel like you've got all this abundance here. Look at this. All of these pentacles, you're just glowing over here, okay? Um, and all of the spiritual lessons you've learned. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're about to get new love, and I feel like it's either your true twin or a displaced twin, okay? And even though they're coming in as a knight of pentacles, all that's telling me is that they're coming in slowly, and they want to get to know you slowly, okay? Um, but yeah, this is, I feel like this is the most reliable knight in the deck. And I feel like, um, you're going to notice quickly that this person is actually an emperor. Even though I don't have the emperor card out here, I know the divine is sending someone for you and they know that the empress deserves an emperor. Yeah, Six of Cups energy. I feel like this person from your past is thinking about you. They're going to be in a lot of regret because I feel like they've been watching you and you're you're the one that they, one of the people, just one of the people they played and left behind. And now look at you. They didn't see your value before, but they sure can see it now. And now they're, they're knowing they missed out on the real deal. Okay, because of the manipulation, the third party situations, the backstabbing, the betrayal, the no communication, the hanging out, not knowing what to do, not making any move towards you. Yeah, it's all coming back on them. This is, it's almost like your energy is making them look at themselves here. Okay, so this right here is where they start that inner work. Okay, this is where they start it. And they're seeing the point now. They are. They're seeing this now. You could be dealing with the Pisces. I've got Leo out here, Virgo, Aries, Capricorn, Gemini. Yeah, they, they're seeing, they're realizing you don't get to keep doing this to people. You don't keep, you don't get to keep doing this to people. You don't get to keep doing this to people. You know, I kind of feel like somebody, it's almost like the divine is sort of holding this person down and saying, listen to me and repeating it over and over. You don't get, you don't get to keep doing this to people. Do you understand that yet? Yeah. Grow up. This person needs to grow up. And I feel like they, they are in a toxic situation. This person could have addictions. They could have um, some kind of codependency going on because they are extremely immature. And I don't see anywhere in here that they actually have a job or are earning any money or anything. I see them in a toxic situation with someone else who's just as immature as they are. Um, I feel like that's what the kind of people that this person chases. And an empress is not going to play those kind of games. Yeah, I feel like you're in star energy with the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. And here comes your new emperor. I kid you not. I cannot make that up. Okay? Here comes your new emperor at the turn of this wheel. Because I feel like you have um, put good, wonderful, beautiful, healing energy out there to other people. You, you're a light worker out here. You could be in the public eye. You could have your own platform. Um, healing other people with the lessons that you've learned on your cycle. Now, you know, you've been through a lot, but it's so that you could have your, a story to tell that would help other people, Okay. Um, and I feel like that's what you're doing. And it's, it's bringing in a fortune for you. Like you're about to be very wealthy and you're about to get a brand new emperor. Someone who is suitable for the empress. Period. I'm telling you. <laughs> telling you. Collective. I cannot make that up. Okay. New love. is The emperor's coming in. I felt it here. 
without the Emperor card. I knew this person was coming, okay? Um, so yeah, get ready. I feel like you're about to be blessed, but it's it's because of all the work you put in, all the effort you've put in, the energy that you've put out there for other people, the lessons you've learned, the grades that you passed, right? Yeah, you're about to be majorly blessed. So get ready. Um, because your true twin flame, I feel like this is the true twin flame. This person over here is a karmic, okay? This is a, is a karmic masculine. They're still being taught. They can't treat other people that way, though. So they're being taught a lesson, and I feel like they can't come towards you at this time. If you were waiting for this karmic masculine to come towards you, they can't right now. They're not... No, uh-uh. The divine doesn't want this person coming towards you. They're a player and a page. And they're, they're wrapped up with way too many options right now. And you, my dear, are an empress. And you're getting your emperor. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Drop the confirmations, guys. Okay? Drop a comment when this when you meet your emperor. I am telling you, this new person's coming in, and that's going to be your true soulmate connection here. This is the one the divine is sending you. New love, being brought in by the hand of the divine. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm getting the chills. Awesome.